Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to attach these gorgeous fluffy pom-poms that I brought ready-made from Amazon. So I will show you a tutorial on how to make your own but sometimes, like I said for my brain, it's too many extra steps and buying them, decorating them, adding them onto things to yourself can be just as good and saves an awful lot of time. So if you do do that, don't judge yourself too harshly because like I said sometimes it is much more practical, time efficient and material efficient than actually making yourself. So you've got to make those choices. So I have got these attached to the fold over elastic or FOE, the hard plastic headbands, on alligator clips and also on hair, basic hair ties slash bubbles depending on where you're from, from the UK or somewhere else. So let's go and the other thing I'll, I'll show you is when you get these they're not quite as fluffy as what you see here they tend to look like this rather than like this so this is when they're plumped up so if you ever get them and they come out of the bag and they look more like this than nice and plump like this the trick to do is all of them come with this little loop at the bottom that is attached in it's like an elasticated loop and what you want to do is locate it on both of them and what I do is loop it on one finger, loop it on the other one, not the poorly one where I burnt myself. Go like this. And you can do this for as long as you need. And the hair, direction of the hair will tend to be, see this one's is working, this one's still a little bit flat. And excuse anyone if you've got any and can you see the difference look how much difference that is compared so all you do pop them on your fingers shake them until they're nice and plump and fluffy like this and we're actually going to use these ones as the first ones and i've already made some 1.5 inch ribbon basic tux bows nothing fancy nothing over the top and instead of clipping them I have just literally glued the backs down. I will link a tutorial for you if you want to see how to make them separately, but for time efficiency and things like that on this video, I wanted to show you all four ways as quickly as possible. So these are my seamless bubbles, hair ties. And as you can see, they've got the join here. So what I'm going to do, so we've got our loops because we're not adding anything extra if we don't need to. Like I said, work with what you've got. So take this, and thread that through your loop and you want the seam part to come against here so to do this keep the seam where you would pull the root loop through and pull it down and there you go one firmly attached pom-pom on a hair tie and we shall repeat Thread it through our ready-made loop. Thread that through the seam side and pull it nice and tight so you have this. And then pull it so you seam so it's tucked away. And there we go. A little pom-pom set and to be honest, if you wanted to, if you wanted to sell them like this, you could sell them just by this on yourself. For me personally, to add it more of a personal touch and obviously customise yourself, what I do is from where the bubble hair tie is attached, I smooth the fur all in one direction. Like this, give it like an apple shape. And then I take my bow. And you do it on the sides here where you're not going to see. And then place it on, not quite near the base, but just a little bit further up. And then squish that round so it sort of attaches into the stronger part of the fur instead of like on the looser bits that are like fluffing up. And then you can give it a little bit of a shake to plump it back out. And that's attached nice and firmly. And then we're going to repeat on this side, only I'm going to make less mess with the glue. I say that and then it will go everywhere again. 
I've been having a particularly clumsy week, that's why my hands all busted up at the moment. And sort of pat that round and get rid of my little glue strings. And there we go, we've got a cute set of hair tie pom poms. Okay, and then the next one again, because this is one of the quicker ones. I said there's a misplaced one of my felt circles. Now you want some felt circles, and I use one and a half inch wide, which is about two and a half centimetres, almost three centimetre circles for these. Okay, and again, I've got these ones. This one's a little bit under fluffed, so we'll give this a little shake off camera. There we go, fluff straight back up. And we are going to use, on all of these, we are going to use the loops to our own advantage. Now with this, I do it exactly the same way as I attach most of my clips on these. I'm going to take my little pair of scissors. We're going to fold our circles in half. And we're going to cut about a centimetre down and a centimetre apart. So we've got the space for the clip to go through and enough of a join for the clip to easily thread through okay and what I do with mine is you go from underneath we put the first end in first so this side first then we clip our elastic loop through and then hook the other end over and then bring it up to the center and the first thing I do I'm going to glue this side onto the clip there. We can't pre-clip it because obviously we have to put that loop on. And we're going to do the same this side. We're just going to put a little bit of glue there to glue the circle onto the clip. And then what you want to do is move your fluff up out the way. So you've got this and as you can see it's not glued firmly at the moment. We're going to glue here. You want to be quite heavy handed with the glue, but not so much you're going to get more over the side of the circle. So do it quite heavy, but leave about half a centimetre, well, about half a cm round the edge. And then you're going to flip that against your pom pom and press that down firmly. And then we're going to go over to the opposite side and we're going to do the same thing. As you can see, it's not quite as loose now because we've already firmly glued the other side. And anywhere that's not currently glued, you're going to glue on that circle. Again, leave a little bit of a gap around the edge. And then you're going to pat that firmly down. And there is your clip. Ready to go. And again, pull your fur up out of the way. Take one of your little ready-made bows in my case. And it did take me almost an hour to get this tutorial ready so I had everything ready to go. So I'm not normally this organised. You should have seen my desks before I actually started filming. It was a very different picture to what you currently see. So there is one side. And then we're going to do exactly the same on this one. And I will timestamp the video for you as well. And if you ever want to see sneak peeks or see what I'm doing or what tutorials I have planned and everything like that, I do have a Facebook group, including a Facebook chat. And I'm always very active myself, actually, in person. Um, so you can talk to me and tell me what's happening, ask, make, ask, do your tutorial requests, ask me general tips and tricks and things like that in general and I am usually about and answering things straight away so pop it through again pop it through our little loop and then thread that through there move it along to where you want it about halfway
lift it up a little bit so we can blow make sure all your fur's out of the way blow down that side Blow down that side to the clip. Okay. Flip it over so you can glue. Move all your fur that way first. But yeah, if you ever want a general chat about to me about making bows, and I'm always down for talking about hair accessories at all times, like I said, come and join the Facebook group and come and chat with me. Oh, never mind. I can talk about this all day, especially now I'm feeling a bit more motivated again. Flip over the other side. Glue that all down. There. And pat that all down nicely and the other reason for using the loop is when you're using it the hair will automatically point up in the sort of direction that you want so you want it so it goes nice and fluffy and again just use your hand move it all out the way make sure you get all your glue stringers out New curve. Curve it round, and like I said, do it about an inch up from the clip. You can do it lower, it's entirely personal preferences on things like this. But there you go, we've got a little pigtail clipped pom pom set, and we've got the matching mint as well there. And now we're going to do the hard headband and I already have these re uh, pre-lined and again they're very very simple to do. I did buy again buy a set of like 40 of these in multiple colours from Amazon because this is too time intensive for me and buying the headbands and buying the ribbon and the, the end bit separately and gluing them myself is less a time effective and cheaper to buy that many the price that I buy them from so again Think about things like this, um, especially if your businesses are running for profits and things like that. You have to think about your labour and your time as much as the cost of things, etc. Things like that. So it is something to always think about when you're making. And again, we've got this. We've got our pom poms, and I have four 1.5, three centimetre circles, and then the bows. And we're going to do very similar to the clips. We are going to take one set of circles and we're going to do that cut about a centimetre and then about a centimetre across and there. And we're going to thread our first one just over that one at the foot. We're going to take our loop. We're going to thread that and then we're going to thread the other side of the circle over and then here the distance depends entirely on your personal preferences I've done mine a little bit close together but I would say from the centre you want about a three inch gap across and if you wanted to you could use a threader pen or something such as that to mark out where you actually want them to sort of end up but i'm going to do mine about where i'm going to do about three inches i'm going to say the next one i want to end up about here this is a heat threader pen so once i put the heat from the glue this dot will vanish you won't even know it was there so now we're going to take the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing the other way. And again, I buy my circle, belt circles pre-cut 
you can just buy the felt and cut them yourself. It's entirely personal preferences. Let me thread it over the foot. Take your loop. Did that the wrong way under see i say that way is it that way yes that way so up that's what i get when i'm not paying attention and then back over that side because you want the circle to be flat like this I'll show you the bait back in a minute and then move that up until it's at the dot and if your band comes through like this you can take your scissors or something such as that and pop that under so they don't you can't see that elasticated loop and this is what it will look like at the moment and this is what it looks like underneath now for this, what I do, same as we did with the clips, we're going to glue this side of the circle directly onto the headband and we're going to do the other side exactly the same there. And you can do one side at a time and again we're going to circle, glue all over the circle and we're going to tilt that over and press that down and then we're going to go to the other side we're going to tilt that over make sure all of our fur is out of the way so we're not gluing like clumps of the fur into the circle making it look uneven and messy and then we're going to tilt it back over and do this and what i do with this second circle is just to give it an extra sort of security and keep it nice and firm is completely glue that circle watch your fingers and then press that over okay and then we're going to repeat repeat exactly the same on this side so first we're gluing the circle to the headband and be careful of this bit especially you don't need a lot of glue and then the other side like I said make sure all of your fur is out of the way just a little bit there and then move it over so you can glue this side only glue on the felt circle and on that little bit of headband in the join area pat that down that side Move all your fur off the felt circle. You see that bit's over the top. There we go. And then glue around this side. Okay. And then take your second circle. Glue, glue, glue. Careful, I've had my hot glue gun on all day and it is roasting. And there is this one. And again, all of the hair is standing in the direction you want. And again, looks super cute, just literally as the pom poms. Okay, but if you wanted to, take those and again. See my trick? Pull it all up out of the way. Do it about half an inch up from the headband and curve it round. Um, 
and there you go I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here because my felt circles haven't 100% joined we don't want that And there is a matching cute little hard plastic headband and then the very last one is the this is ruffled fold over elastic by the way if you've not seen that before so this is the ruffle ed edged version it's still exactly the same as standard basic foe but foe comes in a lot of different ones it comes in printed ruffled standard like glittery shiny all different versions so this is just a 14 inch piece which is sort of a standard sort of toddler to um well, sort of late baby to sort of toddler but you can get away with wearing this size and as, as an adult it just depends like i said it will be looser on a baby which is what you want tighter on a, an adult which we don't mind as much so like i said that's how it works but 14 is basically the sort of universal standard with this again same as ribbon you still heat seal the ends to stop fraying there we go and again we are going to be using some felt circles and had to rescue the ones that i just dropped on the floor because i'd knock them as i was making the tutorial but i'm using these uh, circles again and what we are doing exactly the same thing as before Like that bring one of our elasticated loops over and then pop it through the other side and then pull it up and along a little bit okay so you've got a nice flat loop there i'm going to pull that along a little bit more if you hold your thumb down on top of it you can move it along to sort of where you want it okay and then we are going to repeat a lot of repeating remember we do down remember that Under. Thread. Under. Because I've done four, four different things in one video, my concentration levels get poorer as time goes by, unfortunately. say and it's still not done as it was meant to right let's try again what is going on here right so that was meant to go up I also don't edit these things because I think it's useful for you guys to know how to correct things if you do make the same kind of mistakes that I do when you're doing things like this. That's 
better. And then thread again. Much, much better. Right, so as you can see, the circles are flat against the pom-poms and the FOE is flat against the... Okay. Now, before we glue it, we're going to glue these down. And again, we're going to glue the circles to the FOE first, the same as we did the headbands and the clips. So do this. Move that side down there. A little bit there. Like that. Adjust it so you've got them. So the FOE is not too far apart. So I'm just moving this a bit a little bit closer. So we go before I glue. side okay that side like that and then again we're going to move the fur out of the way and we are going to glue the circle there and we're going to move this this way and we're going to glue the circle This side and then we're going to flatten that back over and again with this because this is going against baby's head we don't want any of that to show and to make it softer for them and gentler on their heads we're going to glue the circle and hide our little slidey bit and again we're just going to glue the circles Glue it down, flip it over, glue it down, it's good if I didn't firmly glue that. That twisted somehow. So I've managed to twist the FOE the right way round so that they're both sitting where they should be rather than in opposite directions there. But if that happens, always check before you go to glue because otherwise it will not sit right. But again, I don't edit. Because, like I said, it is the kind of thing that people do, and not everyone knows how to correct it. But work fast, because once it's glued, it's glued, and it wouldn't have moved like that if it hadn't have been as quick. There you go. Make sure it's flat like that, not twisted how you just saw me with it. Okay, and then this end, because I pulled that about as I was getting that sorted, that did get a little bit messy. And again, make sure it's completely flat when you're doing your loop. You can just glue this. And if you want to, you can use another little piece of FOE to hide that if you want to, or you can leave it. But that is what it looks like. That is the backs. And again, bring your fur up. Bring those round. There you go. Pull your fur up. I think they look like little troll doll hairs. Show my age there. But I am 38 this year. So yeah. 